So I'm painting this clown, which is a shot, a photograph that was taken in a place where I grew up, in Deptford, in London. I'm working on a body of work at the moment, which is centred around the, the Peeps estate. When I paint, I'm looking for, I'm looking for a stock that is going to give me a lot of uh, rigidity, just because I kind of tend to abuse the surface with a lot of paint, water, whatever medium it is that I'm, that I'm using. I'm interested in chance and not really necessarily having a vivid idea of what I'm painting and what the outcome is going to be. So this paper is uh, Saunders Waterford and it stands a lot of punishment. This is a 638 GSM and it's going to take a lot of abuse. Right, so next I'm going to move over to the sink. Take this. So I'm interested in the kind of the distortion of the clown's face and also the marks that doing this wash it's going to lit that you know that I'm going to be left with um, I don't necessarily want a kind of a clear outline for the kind of the the emotive that I want to kind of carry with this is I want it to obviously look quite sad so I'm not happy with the amount of water on that so I'm actually going to put some more on what I don't want is I don't want the paper to bubble and I don't want it to wrinkle so the paper you know, as you can see, it's just sanded up nice and, nice and stiff and straight. It's got a lot of rigidity to it. It's not going to deteriorate and it's not going to wrinkle. And, you know, who knows how many times I'm going to start throwing, you know, I may throw even more water on this. I'll take it back. I'll rework it. And there may be, you know, it may, it may have another dose of this. So I'm kind of happy with that one. So now I'm going to take it back while it's still really wet and apply some more medium to it. So now this is for me is when the kind of the the fun starts to happen in that I've got a very wet surface the paper is still perfectly flat and it's not wrinkled so I've got a very clean painting surface and now all sorts of things might happen as I start to put more paint on so the surface is very wet but what I'm going to start to get is a lot of blurring which I'm interested in and kind of decomposition really and now it starts to get a lot more emotive for me and you can start to see the marks that are happening and the paper is actually working with me now as well as the watercolour so I'm not a conventional watercolourist by any stretch of the imagination um, I'm very interested in kind of breaking the rules I don't even know the rules so <laughs> it kind of helps really um, and just letting the paint live a little. So rather than rendering an image, I'm much more interested in what the substrate, what the paper, what the paint, what the water, what all those ingredients mixed together, what, what the outcome's gonna be. That's gonna be, that's much more interesting for me than trying to copy something verbatim. So as you can see, you know, there's some interesting things starting to happen with the surface now. So the mouth was upturned, so I didn't like that. So I'll, I'll take that away. Maybe it becomes more skull-like. So now I'm kind of at a stage whereby I'd probably let it sit for a bit and walk away. And maybe I'll come back to it, maybe I'll rip it up, I don't know. But I just think I need to live with that one for a little bit. Mm -hmm.